Hello and thank you for choosing 7 News. I'm Janelle Mitchell and joining us in the studio today is Jill Whipple with the Alva FFA Chapter. She's going to talk a little bit about the Alva FFA Chapter. Um, Jill, um, recently you guys just came back from the na National uh, FFA Convention. What kind of things did you guys do there? Well, this past year we went to the 83rd National FFA Convention, which was held in October in Indianapolis, Indiana. And when we were there, we listened to numerous speakers, and we also took place in a career show, and we also won an award. While we were there, there was over 55,000 FFA members from Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and across our, and across our nation. Can we do that? Well, Jill, you mentioned that you won an award. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Was it the Three Star Emblem Award? I think that's what you told me. Yes, we won a Three Star National Emblem Award. And what that is, is for exceptional chapters this past year in FFA. And what you have to do to win that is submit a 15-page application about what your chapter has done this past year, about getting your numbers up of your FFA members, citizenship, community service, and what really you've been involved in. And to win this, you have to send your application to the state FFA where you compete for a gold emblem. And once you win the gold emblem, then you can compete at the national level for the national three star, two star, or one star, with three being the highest, which we won. And we received a plaque, and we got to go to a dinner, and we got to walk across stage. So it was a really good thing. 25 schools in Oklahoma won it. So it's the highest that um, any state had won and we've kept that going for a couple years. That's very exciting. I'm sure you all were very excited. Yes. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about what all is going on this month with your chapter? Well, this month we went to a junior CDE contest, and what CDE stands for is Career Development Event. And we had three students, Courtney Mapes, Corey Dietz, and Tracy Owen, compete in poultry judging. And what they did there was they were asked numerous questions about chickens, and they graded eggs, and they had to identify parts of the chicken. And Courtney Mapes, she tied for third place there. Oh, okay. Um, what else? Uh, what is ALD? Is that coming up? ALD and MFE are coming up really soon. And what it is is a two-day leadership conference in the in the city for MFE is for eighth through tenth graders and ALD is for 11th through 12th graders, and they just go there and meet tons of FFA members and really learn how to be a leader in their chapter. All right, um, so this weekend, the rodeo is coming up. Are you guys doing anything to help them out? We are this weekend. Um, today and tomorrow, we will be having the concession stand, and there'll be tons of yummy homemade food, and all the proceeds will go to the 4-H and FFA Booster Club. And while you're there, you can buy um, a chance to win half a side of beef or pork. So we're doing that for a fundraiser, so it's a good thing. Okay, well, that's very good. Well, thank you, Jill, for joining us here in the studio, and thank you for joining us. That's going to do it for us today. We'll see you next time.